What's up, guys? Glad to be here. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm always trying to come up with the best way to introduce myself. Uh, I'm JYP of JYP Entertainment. <laughs> uh, first, I want to thank McCory and Spark Labs for putting this event together and having me speak at this great event. And to be more honest with you, the reason I came here today was uh, my friends at McCoy told me that if I do this event, our stock price tomorrow will skyrocket. <laughs> First, it's been a while, it's been over 20 years since I started this company. Back then, it wasn't really an industry, it was just more about my passion, love for the music, and trying to help other guys who have talent. But more and more, I started doing this, building this career, it actually became a company. And now it's actually bigger than me, bigger than us. It's influencing all the kids around the globe. So first, I want to show you a quick journey of JYP Entertainment with the video that I prepared. Actually, uh, we're moving into this new building in two weeks. And 
we're not trying to make this just a change of our venue, but this into a great opportunity to, to take the next big step uh, that is necessary. So today is the first day that we're announcing the new vision, the new step our company is willing to take, and we're calling it JYP 2.0. I came up with four main themes about this new step that our company is taking. First, the biggest difference is we're reforming our whole company. Till last year, our company was categorized by its functions. For instance, like marketing division, promoting division, management division, A&R division. So all the divisions were actually categorized by the work they do. But I think it was around 2015, 16, I started to realize the more bigger that our company started to grow, I realized this wasn't fast enough. The process of manufacturing content wasn't fast enough. It would uh, compare to the artist and the growth that our company was generating. So that was my biggest problem. So two years ago, I started an experiment. So my first experiment was I created a special task force to handle just one artist and that one artist only, which means they had their own marketing person, they had their own promotional person, they had their own management person. So it was, everything was being handled inside that task force. And then the artist that I put in that task team was twice. So for the past two years, everything and anything related to twice was handled by that task force. So that was my first test, and actually the result was amazing. Everything was so much faster. It was efficient. And then the communication between the person in charge and the artist was much better than before. So we finally came to a conclusion. We're trying to make four little companies inside this one big company. So now, JYP will be a company combined of four labels. So we distributed and allocated all our artists into one of these four labels. So the process will be much more faster, much more efficient, and the speed of manufacturing contents will be enhanced dramatically. And actually, that's the biggest reason of our company's success within the past one year. And we believe this structure will take us to the next level. The second theme, globalization by localization. Uh, I know it kind of sounds weird. The first K-pop was basically exporting Korean contents overseas, Korean stars, Korean music, Korean dramas, and it was pretty popular. Uh, the second stage was blending in foreign talents within uh, the Korean artist. Like, there's a, the first thing we did to do that experiment was we put in this artist called Nikun, who is a Thai American, into our group called 2PM. And it was a great advantage to export our contents overseas. So that was the second step. Now, I believe the next step of K-pop will be developing and producing and releasing foreign talents. The first project we did is this group called Boy Story. It's made of six 
Chinese young boys whose average age is 13. They're all Chinese who are from mainland China. So I spent two months in a van traveling around China, going to each small city, doing small auditions to find the next young talent. Uh, out of that, we ended up having six amazing talents who we trained in our facility through our training program, and we debuted them officially two weeks ago. And they debut at number one QQ music video chart, which is one of the most influential charts in China. So obviously, this experiment is in a really good path, and we believe this is the future of K-pop. The next project that we're preparing is a Japanese girl group made of all Japanese girls. This new project will be solely Japanese. To help you understand it, basically it's like twice with all Japanese girls. <laughs> uh, mainly targeted for Japan and also globally, but they will end up debuting in Japan. We prepared this for a very long time, and we're expected to debut them uh, late next year or early 2020. The third theme is called JYP Music Factory. So we succeeded in enhancing the speed of manufacturing these contents. So now it's faster. So we release much more contents compared to our old days. But the side effect that can come with this is that the quality may drop because we're making so much more contents. So I had to come up with the idea that will maintain the quality of our contents. So in this new building that we're moving into, it has nine dance studios. So we could develop young talents, teach them, and have enough room for them to practice. It has 18 vocal rooms that artists and also trainees can practice and learn. And this is my favorite part. Seven producing rooms. This is on the eighth floor. So including me, there will be eight producers constantly working at the same floor. Uh, this means not only these eight producers will be making music by themselves, but at the same time, it'll make them, it'll enable them to work together on a lot of projects. So, not only the quantity, but the quality is expected to be at the highest level. And also, 11 recording booths, uh, which is unheard of. Uh, and two mixing rooms. Mixing is basically the last procedure of finishing a song. So, so far, no company, as of I know, has this much uh, music manufacturing space in their building. So this will enable us to make amazing amount of contents, but at the same time maintain its quality. Uh, and the last theme is creativity from happiness. Uh, especially in the creative business, I don't believe working hours give you great results. Uh, it, it's all about ideas, brilliant ideas. I need, I need my artists, my producers, my musicians, and my employees to come up with brilliant ideas. So how can that happen? If, if my employees are tired and exhausted, how can they come up with great ideas? So the last theme, but the most important theme, is trying to 
take care of our employees, make them in the best condition they can ever be. So in order to do this, first is work-life balance. Uh, now, uh, the Korean government announced that this new law will be, if, be in effect. Uh, every employee must work less than 52 hours a week. The big companies uh, will start earlier, but middle-sized companies like JYP Entertainment, uh, we have to meet this law starting 2020 January. So we have a year and a half to prepare for this. So we're willing to try a lot of different things to see what works and what doesn't work. What will actually uh, make this possible? So we are ready to hire much more employees to meet that criteria that the government proposed. But at the same time, we're going to come up with a lot of systems that efficiently makes them work less than 52 hours a week. And second, healthy lifestyle. Uh, I really believe this has direct effect on the ideas that the employees generate. On the top floor of a new building, uh, we have a restaurant that serves organic food. Everything, every material will be organic, uh, from garlic, <laughs> from rice. I mean, yes, it, it, it costs a little bit of expense, about 1.5 million a year but I definitely believe it's worth it to make our employees and our artists and our musicians healthy as they can be. Uh, and also at the first floor, we serve organic coffee, organic teas, organic fruits. I mean, the cafe is open to the public, so anybody who wants to stop by can stop by. Uh, the top floor restaurant is just for employees and heavy investors, just in case if you guys want to use it, <laughs> you know what to do. Uh, mental care, uh, we de designated uh, a lot of psychiatrists. We personally handpicked the psychiatrist to regularly consult all our employees and our artists. So these are the main four themes of JYP 2.0. I hope this was enough to make you excited to buy our stocks tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk more, but I really want to make this uh, opportunity to answer any questions you guys have about our company or maybe regarding our industry and K-pop. So thank you. And from now on, I'm going to accept questions. Feel free to ask anything. Thank you. Ah, 네 안녕하세요. 네. 창업가를 연예인으로 만들어 보실 생각은 없으신가요? <웃음> 일찍 만났어요, 저를 초등학교 때. <웃음> 네. 네, 조기 교육. 이제는 아 진짜 중요한 얘긴데요. 아 물론 가볍게 생각할 수도 있겠지만 이제는 춤 노래뿐만 아니라 언어를 최소한 한개 이상 해야 돼요. 그래서 대부분 저희가 초등학교, 늦어도 중학교 때는 뽑아서 언어를 가르치기 때문에 좀 일찍 왔어야 되는데 아쉽네요. 어, 안녕하세요. 저는 지금 스타트업에서 재직 중인 버즈빌에서 재직 중인 유희수라고 하는데요. 개인적으로 굉장히 엄청난 팬이어서 어. 질문을 할수 있게 돼서 영광이고 오늘 이제 2.0 전략에 대해서 들을 수 있어서 정말 좋았어요. 그래서 들으면서 지금 가장 항상 개인적으로 궁금했던 부분이 엔터테인먼트 사는 뭐 컨텐츠 그게 뭐 가수에 따라도 달라질 수 있겠지만 그 개별 아까 트와이스를 상대로 실험을 시작하셨다고 하는데 그런 테스크들의 성과를 어떠한 지표를 보시고 이제 측정하시는지 구, 궁금하기도 하고 저기 나와 있는 컴페니인 컴페니에서 네 개의 레이블로 분리해서 운영하신다고 하셨는데 그네개 레이블이 뭔지 어떤 기준으로 스플릿 됐는지 혹시 간략하게나마 설명 주실 수 있으면 감사하겠습니다. 어, 우선 제일 좋은 지표는 어, 앨범 세일이 가장 의미 있는 지표 중에 하나예요. 왜냐하면 어, 음원은 
음악이 인기가 있으면 잘될 수도 있어요 가수를 별로 안 좋아해 근데 그 음악이 정말 좋아서 계속 듣는 사람들이 있어서 음원 결과는 사실 그렇게 직접적이지 않아요 그러나 앨범은 정말 그 아티스트에 대한 충성도가 높은 팬들만 사기 때문에 앨범 판매량이 높으면 그대로 그게 공연 수익으로 연결이 되기 때문에 예, 왜냐하면 앨범을 돈을 주고 살 정도면 공연도 가고 그 다음에 멀천다이즈라고 이제 상품도 사는 데까지 연결되기 때문에 우리 같은 아이돌들을 데리고 있는 회사들의 가장 의미 있는 지표 중에 하나는 앨범 판매량입니다 근데 트와이스는 지금 남성 아이돌 팬들 대부분의 남성 아이돌 팬들보다도 앨범 판매량이 많이 나오고 있는 상황이에요 그래서 그게 투어를 가능하게 하고 다른 여러 가지 부가 수익으로 연결이 되는 거고요 네 안녕하십니까 어디 계세요? 예, 여기 있습니다 <웃음> 아, 예, 예. 네, 저희 과학기술정보통신부 소프트웨어 지능과장인데요 아, 예. 정책적인 그 차원에서도 굉장히 오늘 그 2점, JYP 2.0에 대해서 굉장히 그 감명 깊게 봤고요 저희 애도 지금 중학교 3학년인데 트와이스를 굉장히 <웃음> 좋아하고 저는 이제 개인적으로 그날 날 떠나, 떠나지 마도 굉장히 좋아했지만 <웃음> 너의 뒤에서를 굉장히 좋아했는데 앞으로 JYP의 입장 그 개인적인 입장에서 그런 발라드를 내실 생각을 없습니다. <웃음> 어, 질문해 보고 싶습니다. 아, 이런 분들 때문에 제가 삶의 활력이 <웃음> 예, 저를 끝까지 가수로 봐주시는 분들이서 너무 좋고 예, 어, 제 앨범도 지금 준비 중이고요. 예, 또 완성되는 대로. 또 나오겠습니다. 하이, 미스터 파크. 마이 네임 이즈 헨리. 아이 a 인베스터. 앤아이 워스 베리 머치 무브드 바이 유어 세일즈맨십 투데이. 소 아이 퀵리 투크 룩앗 유어 컴퍼니 앤 스톡 프라이스. 소 아이 리얼라이즈 댓 유어 유어 컴퍼니 워스 인 터미스 오브 더 스톡 프라이스 이즈 이 워스 콰이트 베리 콰이트 포더 라스트 파이브 식스 이어스. And then it just took off in 2017. And I looked at the numbers. The revenue roughly went up by 50%, but your market market cap tripled in 2017. Mm. So what happened? You know what what happened? What was different? And how is it going to be different going forward? Uh, Thank you. Until last year, I really didn't want. I was I wasn't interested in doing this type of events. Because I wanted to make sure that our company is solid first. I wanted to make sure that this company will run without me. So the reliance of me in JYP company it dramatically dropped. As you, every Korean would know that the Wonder Girls, Rain, all, all, this, all the great hits that they sang, it was written and composed by me. So in start of all the songs, I was saying JYP. Like, all the songs <laughs> were mine. Uh, but since then, I said, I got to start writing songs. I wanted to include, I want to have a system. So I started a company called JYP Publishing. I signed over 30 musicians, uh, and I trained them. I trained them to become great songwriters, great composers, and now they are making songs. So if you see twice, I only wrote two of their biggest hits. The other songs were written by other composers that I trained. So not only in the music field, but marketing, uh, promoting everything, I wanted to make sure it runs by a system. So even if I disappear, it'll still be okay. So doing that, I had to go through a lot of trial and errors to see what works, what doesn't work, what is systemizable, and what is not systemizable. So, and what's better to systemize, and what's not better to systemize. So doing all those experiments, I really didn't care about the numbers of our company or doing investor relations. I didn't care. And when I came with, uh, with some type of solution that's starting to work, that's when the company took off. Thank you.